Hello again and welcome back to The Front Row, a minor production of the First Congregational Church in South Pekin, where our intent is to bring snippets from our Sunday morning message into your week. We are continuing our sermon series on the disciplined life. But before we get into this week's message topic, I want to talk about the sandwich generation. And really, all of us, I, I would think this is relatively universally true, that we all feel like we kind of grow up in a sandwich generation. There's a generation before us that approaches life one way, and there's a generation after us that approaches life a different way, and we see value in both, but we're kind of stuck in between. The generation before me was uh, the generation of duty. You did things because you're supposed to do them. And the system is relatively fixed. It works if you'll just do it the way you're supposed to do it. And it'll all, all turn out well in the end. Well, the generation after me definitely doesn't, doesn't feel that way. They want, to, uh, uh, they want to know why. They want to have an internal motivation. They want to be included in the process of deciding what we're supposed to do and understand why we're doing it. Uh, in order to do it. And I, I see there are flaws in both perspectives and there are uh, beautiful things about both perspectives. And we get, uh, in my generation, feel a little torn in the middle. And again, that's probably not unique to my generation. Every generation has that same dynamic, uh, but it speaks, I believe, the one I'm particular that I'm drawing out, speaks to uh, the spiritual disciplines that we're talking about. You see, there is an aesthetic there is a duty, there is a, even a benefit to just the, um, uh, the sense of do it because you're supposed to and do it this way. And if you just follow the prescription, if you will, you are going to see the benefit of that thing and we can measure it and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But over on the other side, there is a why why should we enact in these spiritual disciplines? What's, what's the purpose? What is the motivation? What is the, the development opportunity? What, how, do, how does this fit into my world? And that doesn't have to come specifically from a selfish perspective, like what about me? But really, help me to understand. There's something deeper than, in this than just the, the mere practice as a matter of fact, the Pharisees were ridiculed for the mere practice. You're just doing it because it's all for show. You're doing X, Y, or Z. You're either uh, uh, proclaiming with trumpets and shouting from the rooftops that, that you're giving and, and you're receiving your earthly reward. When you are fasting, you, you are allowing your face to be drawn and, and you want everybody to see that you're doing. When you pray, you babble, would go on and on and on for this earthly reward, and you're doing the thing, but you're not doing it in the right spirit. So how do we appreciate the need to do the thing, the discipline, and understand the spirit by which we should be doing it? Um, this is really part of the, the wrestle or the quest of understanding the spiritual disciplines that we're, we're just scratching the surf surface of in this series. I'm glad you're here with us. We're going to dive a little bit deeper into this week's uh, discipline in a moment, uh, but just wanted to set that dichotomy up and understand that we're trying to, to walk in the middle of understanding the importance of the discipline and our need to do it and balancing that with understanding why and seeing the value and ascribing to give glory to God in the midst of it. So that's our primary purpose. We'll come back to that in a future conversation. Blessings to you. Have a fantastic rest of your day.